What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are trying stage 2 in the guild battle, the official match, alright? So let me show you my strategy. I'm gonna try to clear in one go. I'm using Vincent, Aerith and Sephiroth and this is because I don't have Zack, uh, so that's why I need to adapt. So first thing that I do is that I wait to have 5 ADB before I send my first floor one and I'm bringing the brave although in stage 2 I could also bring Aurora Blow or something around those lines so then I do uh, Spirit of Harmony after Flare Flare I see that Sephiroth has buffed himself I do want the brave and then I focus on healing my party all right so in my case in my strategy Vincent needs to keep his life as high as possible so that's why I bring nice this single target healing I could also do uh, multiple like AOE healing with uh, Spirit of Harmony with Kamura one and then basically in this um, strategy the key thing is Vincent needs to have 100% of his um, health so that he can hit the harders and then if I see that something is out of hand then I I will send them you know like I'm normally standing in uh, Irith but if I see that something goes off then I will check that they are doing the attacks as they should be doing now I need to reapply Spirit of Harmony reapply everything let's go defense now that his record dive is coming in a stage 2 you don't need to really go defense because it's not gonna hit you much and this is it and it's similar like this strategy is similar in the other stages the only thing that changes is like how often you pop the brave how often you pop other attacks so in this case um, with my setup i'm confident i can clear stage two so this is what i wanted to show you so that you get some more tips about how to handle this fight which team are you using? Let me know in the comments like so that we can learn from each other. I know it's like PvP, guild battle. We are all like trying to get the best scores. Um, in this case, as you can see, it's 100%. Um, and I'm trying to master now my stage 5, stage 4 runs. I'm even considering if I should level more weapons to have more of the buff on the side. Because like, let me show you my setup so that you can check. Okay, So in my case let's check any stage um, it doesn't matter so I can, I'm gonna select here my buffs are only on 73 like and some of my guildies they are on 79 uh, because they have the gears my gears I'm missing plenty of gears I don't have many gears because I skip on many banners I, I have a lot of things but you know not everything so that's why um, by the way click auto formation and go for points it's extremely useful um, so basically I was leveling up some weapons to get to 73 I'm considering leveling up even more weapons to the, you know get these 283 points. Um, it's just like a, it's a lot of investment, but at the same time, this is my main motivation right now in the game, so it will make sense. Yeah, I just have mixed feelings because you know like these weapons are totally outdated. So yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe this one, you know, fire resistant. Maybe this one. Lightning resistance is never bad, right? I don't know. Um, and then my setup itself. So Vincent is bringing short barrel, um, physical attack, wind potency. Then T03, physical attack, physical ability potency. Then I'm bringing Falcon, physical attack, wind potency, um, enemy launcher, and then stream saver. So my our abilities. Uh, let me show you physical attack seven points win potency eight points and then physical ability potency five points and then let me move the camera a little bit so my party is physical three points uh, and three points all right then on iris i am using sentiment so that it brings the max points of healing silver collar and then also stream slasher and then kamura with flora one of course so then you get wind resistance down high which is extremely needed in this fight and then my sephiroth is bringing shinra military sword as primary physical attack wind potency i wanted to have this one on the primary slot to get as high as possible on this wind potency 52 points and then dark heavens 46 and 39 and lastly in my second row is ultimatic 
attack and physical ability potency, heavy hoser, attack and boost ability potency, and lastly, ceremonial sword with physical attack and physical ability potency, so that I have a total of physical ability potency 7, win potency 8, attack 6, physical ability potency 5, ability potency 3. Now, a better way, like, a better team would be to ditch um, Vincent so that you can use Zack. The issue is, I mean, Zack is the best way, right? Zack is the top DPS here. Well, Sephiroth is, but then after that, Zack. My issue is Beatrix Sword only has 520. It's just like 5 star. And so then it's going to multiply by 1.2, but I'd rather use Vincent. And I didn't want to pull on this banner. Um, it's a really good weapon. It goes to like 940. It's extremely useful, but yeah, I don't have that. Other recommendations could be, by the way, um, especially if you are day one free to play, if you've been around for a while. Uh, think about this one. Think about Motor Drive. It does 790. And she hits really fast, and you can combine them with Amaran Claws if you don't have Kamura, so you can do physical attack up high. Uh, this was my first setup. It was Tifa with Sephiroth, but then I realized that Vincent can do way more damage uh, thanks to his weapon, and that's why I'm bringing that here. Then Zack also has AoE wind, but you know you want single target. And I think these are the best options. Well. I think Yuffie could be a really good option as well. Um, she has better than than Tifa for sure. She has dinner tray, diner tray, sorry, which is it goes up to 850, so better than Tifa. But um, and then you can buff yourself with um, Arctic uh, sword, Arctic thingy, the this one if you have it. So physical attack increase, high to a single ally. Although, you know, with Kamura, you don't need this. So I think um, in my ranking, if I remember correctly, Sephiroth is top tier DPS. After that, Zack. After that, probably Vincent. After that, Juffy. After that, Tifa. But this is assuming that you have the weapons. So yeah, what, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? What's your setup? How are you finding this... Um, event are you liking it as much as the previous one i am personally really liking this thing and i wanted to say now thanks a lot to all my guildies in monarchs thank you to chaos edward red eyes games Dean, like carter tony K kimo lily talon seriously like thanks a lot I'm, I'm learning a lot about my own setup even like just having a bit of time to go to your hide win check how you can get zero point 2% extra physical attack DPS just by completing some quest, you know, those kind of like small things that we sometimes don't pay enough attention to, like that happens to me a lot. Um, yeah, so that's helping. And this is it for today, a bit of a different video. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you find this useful, please consider throwing a like or subscribe. My name is Plio, until the next time, cheerios, bye bye. <laughs>